Hello Earthlings, welcome in this new video. I don't know how it is for you, but here in BC, food is in full swing. Comforting meals are currently truly appreciated. My entire family loves gratin, and this steak on shepherd's pie is regularly requested on our menu. It's a very easy recipe. However, because I tend to add a lot of veggies, as you'll see, prepping them all is quite time consuming. The result is worth the effort though, I promise. I steam the potatoes in my instant pot because this is the easiest way for me. Do what you usually do for your mashed potatoes. It leaves me time to take care of the other vegetables and the meat. I usually keep the peels and freeze them in a big Ziploc bag. Once it's full, this will become veggie broth. I live with fibromyalgia, which is a chronic illness. Peeling and cutting all these veggies is difficult on my arms and on my hands, so I have absolutely no shame in using a my food processor. After all, they exist to make our life easier, don't they? Our dog Dobby is always at my feet when I'm cooking. He's delighted to receive the big pieces that were not cut properly. Time to cook everything! First, I start with the onions that I sauté in some butter.
Once they are fragrant, I add the ground meat. I am very picky, so I take the time to break it in small pieces, but you don't have to. I season it with salt and pepper, then let it cook until there are mostly no pink left. Oops, my camera cut there, but then I added the veggies, covered the pan and let all of this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. During that time, my potatoes were ready to be mashed. I always use salted butter, it might be because I'm from Brittany, that Celtic part of France. And you don't have to, but then you have to adjust and add some salt into your mashed potatoes. I also love using a veggie cube that I scrambled into that, and so therefore I don't need to salt the mashed potatoes, but always taste and adjust accordingly. It's finally time to assemble everything together. I put the veggie and meat mixture first. Then cover everything with the mashed potatoes. As you can see, my daughter Kai was willing to help, so be nice, she's very cute. As a last touch, I like adding shredded cheese and a bit of nutritional yeast. This is completely optional. Put in the oven for about 20 minutes or until the cheese is melted and golden. Time to enjoy! Thanks a lot for watching, see you next time!